for Pliny. Welcome, Pliny. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, pretty bloody good, if you ask me. How about you? How how's how's your your lockdown going? Where you are? So good. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best question to leave with. I totally apologise for that, mate. But uh, look, you're playing Unify Gathering next year. Uh, and for those who don't know, you're an instrumentalist. You're an instrumental band act. Uh, how do you take that from uh, the recording process to the stage presence and, and put on a show? Uh, we will see. Um, the first, one of the first festivals we ever played was called Brutal Assault in the Czech Republic. And it's like in this old fortress castle uh, most of the bands are like extreme metal, black metal, that sort of thing. I think we played before or after Aborted. Um, right, okay, yep. And so the music that I make and we play is a lot more pleasant than <laughs> you would expect from a band called Aborted. But it worked really well. That was like one of the best gigs we've ever played. And every festival we've done since has kind of been awesome like that as well. Um so I'm imagining that we're going to get to unify and just have fun and maybe it'll be a bit of a break from uh, having bands with vocalists and maybe people will just lie down on a hopefully sunny day and then have a half hour little afternoon tea <laughs> session. Listening to some prog instrumentals from yourself. Yeah. What's the best What's the best kind of experience when it comes to listening? This is a hard question to ask because you're the one obviously playing, but what do we need to do in order to get the full Pliny experience? Uh, whatever you want. Get drunk, stay sober, uh, lie down, stand up. I think it's <laughs> totally, it's open to interpretation. And this is what I've noticed about prog bands as well too, uh, and, and yourself included in this. You've got the, the music which takes you on a journey in itself. Uh, but without the without the vocals which are telling the story, you essentially create your own story in your head when listening to the music. So take us through a couple of the songs that you've got from Impulse Voices and what were you thinking when you're going into the writing process of creating these? Uh, shit, I can't even remember. It feels like it was a million years ago. Um, <laughs> I guess one of them, there's a song called Pan that we'll probably almost definitely play because it's one of the heavier ones. Um and I remember when I was writing that, I was thinking of trying to make like the heavy version of a sci-fi soundtrack, like a sort of dark sci-fi world where something happens to a character. Um, but like usually when I'm writing, it's all quite vague and I just think about like sort of broader images and maybe that's why it's kind of up to the listener to figure out what it's about. It's not so specific, like this is about a guy walking down a street and then this happens and this happens. So you could be having, you know, one of these situations where you've uh, you've quit your job, for example. Let's put this into perspective. You quit your job, your boss was an absolute dickhead, and then you hear one of your songs and it's just got this, this, this euphoric moment that really packs a punch and then you could relate it to that essentially and then that song becomes the soundtrack for that moment that you've got in your head. Yeah, that I mean, that's like one of the best ways that I've ever heard it explained and I'm going to take that and use that for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> One, like there's a song that I did a few years ago called Electric Sunrise. And I remember specifically for that, I was listening to a demo while I was working on it um, when I got on the plane to go to the States uh, for the first time in my life. So I've always associated that with like going on a new adventure sort of thing. And I think, yeah, that's it. Like uh, a lot of, I'm assuming a lot of people at Unify will have never heard of any of this music and maybe they'll associate one of the songs with like, some odd moment that they have at Unify. And then when they leave the festival, they discover you and then they can go down that uh, rabbit hole of discovering more and more instrumental music, like uh, music uh, musicians. Who would you say are a couple of bands that you look up to within that realm of uh, instrumental bands? Uh, I guess one of the big ones is Animals as Leaders, who a lot of people probably know. Um, and then there's a guy called David Maxim Mitsic from Serbia, who's like a good friend and also a ridiculous composer and musician. Uh, we've played a lot of gigs together. We played a festival in India uh, where one of the headliners was Sean Paul. So that was like a very eclectic, <laughs> that was a very eclectic day. Um, and David went out on stage to thousands of people and introduced himself as Pliny. 
So <laughs> we, always, we just like to be as confusing as possible. So that, that's that's the situation. You rock up, you don't know what you're going to expect from there and you'll leave with an experience, whether that be an amazing, mind-blowing one or you discover plenty for the very first time and what you guys have behind you. It's obviously not just you playing guitar on stage. You've got a band with you too, right? Yeah. Um, there's Chris who plays drums, Simon who plays bass and Jake who plays guitar and they've all they've all known each other in different ways longer than I've known any of them. Um, so it's almost like... I don't even have to do much work. I mean, you'll see when we play, there's like three insanely sick musicians doing stuff and then I'm there as well. Uh, and I very much enjoy that dynamic. Uh, we're going to head to the uh, comment section right now to figure out uh, what some people have to say. Catherine wants to know, which of the acts from the lineup are you looking forward to seeing at Unify? Uh, all of them, because there's a lot of bands there that I've never seen live. Um, Alpha Wolf, Ocean Grove. Um, I think seeing Amity will be sick. I've never seen them live before. I'm never, sure be really? A spectacle, yeah. I think they're one of those bands that have been around since the dawn of the dinosaurs or, you know, the metalcore scene. So uh, for, for someone like yourself who's never seen that, it'll be just one big orgasmic experience to play the festival and then to top it all off catching those guys and hanging around for Violent Soho when they headline. Yeah, exactly. Now, as part of the uh, music experience, are you going to be camping? Are you going to be getting amongst it with everyone as well? Or what's what's your plan plan, plan of attack for Unify? Um, haven't thought about it yet, but if my band's down, I think it'll be a lot of fun to camp. Yep. Perfect. Because obviously you need to get amongst it with everyone. Will you camp outside with all the punters? Oh, fuck yeah. Good, good. Just avoid, like, you know, the, the, the tents where they're doing bad shit or whatever it is that they're up to in there. <laughs> There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of antics that happen at Unify, which is, you know, part of the stories that become those stories that you tell later on in life. And one of those stories that we're going to be able to tell is Pliny when you make your debut at Unify. So looking forward to that one. Thank you so much for joining us for a chat. And, mate, we can't wait to see you on stage and create our own memories when we see your set, man. Awesome. Thanks for talking. Absolute pleasure, man. Don't forget, you can get 